There's there's a different type of filtration systems. Um, a lot of the new technologies today now utilize what they call membrane filters. Um, a lot of the older technologies, when I first started out in this industry about 20 years ago, um, I was actually using a gravity filter. So these gravity filters are typically at the end of your clarifier or your, your conventional water treatment plant. And it's just basically spilling water into a filter. Um, gravity, like the, there's a certain level where it'll provide pressure to the filter. And then obviously gravity will help help trickle the water through and uh, those filters are usually made up of uh, of uh, sand and what they call anthracite coal. Um, so there's usually two layers. Sometimes there might be a third layer. I, I haven't uh, had the experience to work with that one, but there's different types of material in those gravity filters and different layers of them. And the gravity filter typically, you know, it doesn't. Um, it's not as tight as the uh, the membrane filters, so there are chances that you know, but viruses, bacteria, that sort of thing, can get through them. Um, they're easy to operate, easy to backwash, that sort of thing. You can tell when filters are plugging up, either your turbidity is getting high, or, or you're just not filtering any water through them. So, uh, easy to maintain. Um, have to be backwashed at a certain amount of time, for a certain amount of time. And then we go to um, what they call ultra filtration. Sometimes uh, some plants will utilize uh, micro filtration as well. Um, but ultra filtration is probably a step higher than the micro filters. Um, the pore sizes are a lot less smaller, so they will capture a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more organics or a lot of uh, material that shouldn't be in your treated water. Um, when you get down to um, nano filtration or reverse osmosis, now those pore sizes are way much smaller than uh, than the ultra filtration membranes. Um, very little chance unless you have a damaged membrane that uh, you know any organism is going to get through there. So it basically it takes out a lot of minerals. It takes out takes out a lot of organics as well, and a lot of times you know it'll actually uh, make the water corrosive which is why in this case we um, we boost up the pH to our finished product and we also blend water in this case again from uh, our ultra filtration membranes and blend it at 10% with the uh, the reverse osmosis effluent